everybody. So I'm so glad you could join us to make our rainbow fish craft today. That's going to go along with our story, the rainbow fish. Um, and I thought, what better craft could there be to make than to actually make our little fishy friend? And so I made a little design of rainbow fish. And he's really simple to make with a lot of things that you already have at home. Um, I made my scales for my fish out of a popular uh, kid's cereal. Um, if you don't want to use a kid's cereal, you can pop out um, a whole bunch of different colored construction paper circles. Um, if you've got a little puncher, that makes it go easier than having to hand cut um, probably a hundred circles. Um, but you can do that if you want. Otherwise, the cereal makes a cute craft and it's fun for little kids to use because then they can eat the cereal as they're gluing. Just make sure they're not eating the glued cereal. That would not be good. But kids, I've done this craft with kids before and they all seem to love it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make a rainbow fish craft. First thing you're going to need is some blue construction paper. And then you're going to need some tissue paper. You can pick whatever color tissue paper you want. I chose um, hot pink, green, and yellow for mine. Um, you can pick whatever colors you like. Um, you're also going to need um, a pencil, a blue marker, some glue, some scissors, um, a googly eye. And then um, for my shiny scale, I found these uh, craft gems that you can buy. But if you don't have those in your cupboard, don't panic. Just take a um, circle of construction paper or a piece of cereal that you've used, wrap it in tin foil, glue it all together, and you can use that for your shiny scale on your rainbow fish. And then you're also going to need some uh, macaroni noodles um, so that we can make the mouth on our fish. So those would be the items that you need. To get started, um, because I am a little OCD and I like everything symmetrical, I folded my construction paper in half. Um, so it was on the long way. And I didn't give it a real solid crease because you don't want it to stick there forever. But just a, a light crease so you can see what you're doing. And then I took a paper plate because I also can't draw a half circle um, freehand to save my life. And so I take my plate and I draw here like this. And then I'm going to move my paper plate so that I can do the same thing and make a tail. And I want to line it up with the corner of the paper here. And then bring it up to the very line that we just drew. And that makes the tail. And then I'm going to take my scissors and we're going to cut out our fish. And we'll just start here at the tail end. And we want to follow the line we drew and then come up. And come over. If you want to make a couple smaller size fish, use a smaller size plate. And, um, and then you can use different sheets of paper. It would help if I could cut two sheets of paper at the same time. And then there we are. And we'll cut off the ragged edges. So it's nice and smooth. And we have a fish shape. If you'd like, um, in your tail here, you can make a notch like we did on ours while you still have it folded in half. Simply come over here and cut a small triangle out of the tail there like so. And then you have a triangle fin on your fish. Then to get rid of that crease, just slightly bend it back and it's all flat. Now the next thing that I decided to do before we went any farther was I got my plate out again and I wanted to draw an area for his face. And here I just took my pencil and I used my plate as a marker and we kind of made some um, M-shaped bumps around. And I did it in pencil so that if I didn't like it I can always go back with my marker and fix it. But those don't look too bad. So I might just go ahead and take my marker right now and just cover up my lines. And again, if you over, oh, go over your lines or you want to make some adjustments, you can always erase the pencil marks after you get it in there. I really like that one. And we'll come back and erase it. But it just gives you a nice guide for where to draw your lines. And that separates the fish head from the fish's body. And see, we can just very easily and very quickly Erase our pencil marks. So then the next thing I did was to get my tissue paper out. And on the top of our fish's body, he needs to have a very large fin. 
And so in tissue paper, I just cut out um, kind of a curved odd shape um, out of the tissue paper. And then we're just gonna flip our fish upside down. And we're gonna put some glue on here on the back of the fish where the fin's going to go. And then we'll just pop our fin um, like so. So you can kind of adjust where you want your fin to be. And that's the top fin, that one was pretty easy. For the bottom fins, I took some yellow and some green tissue paper and I cut out what looked like a J shape, um, kind of a fat, thick J with a pointed edge. And um, what you want to do is you're going to want to make them so that one is a little bit um, lower than the other. And so when you glue these on here, put a little bit of glue on the bottom. Oh, I'm getting right out of glue. Just put just a little bit there. And then you're going to want to tap your fins on there. And you don't want them to be too long underneath your fish. So you might want to um, make sure you put them high enough on the back side. And there you have your bottom fins. And then for the tail feathers, I took some scraps of my hot pink and my yellow and my green. And I cut them out into um, little fat L's. And then I just simply took my glue and I glued them all together, kind of like so, so they overlapped each other. And we'll do the green one. You could use a glue stick for this if you wanted to. Um, when you glue on the scales, you're really gonna wanna have your regular all-purpose glue. Your glue stick will not provide a strong enough bond for what we're gonna do next. And then you just kinda wanna even them all off, like so. And then you kind of have like a triple line of your scales and we can glue these on your fish like so. And that gives him kind of a rainbow tail also. So when you have them all together and you're gonna to wanna to cut out identical ones twice. So you just fold your paper over as you're cutting so that you have um, identical. And it's okay if you cover up that um, Nice little triangle that you just made here because we'll go and we'll cut it out when the glue is dry. And there we are with that like so. And that gives your tail a nice little splash of color too. And it highlights the fins. So then, see how it sticks up underneath there? You just come in with your scissors and take your tissue paper slices off. And we'll just cut, and we'll cut. And now you have a, oh, a nice triangled fin. There, so now we need to add our face. And so for that, we're going to take a googly eye and put just a little bit of glue on the back side of that. And we'll make his eye. And then for his mouth, you're going to need um, about five pieces of macaroni. Um, we just use the kind that you use for macaroni and cheese because it's slightly curved. And you're going to want to put them together in groups of two so that you have um, two facing down and two facing up because they're slightly curved. And you can kind of see that here. And then we're going to put them over here in the front of his face. And you're just going to put a glob of glue here and a glob of glue here. And then we'll transfer our macaroni over so that they stick. And if you don't like getting your fingers messy, you might want to try doing this with um, a toothpick or something. Or just be sure to wash your hands afterwards because gluey projects can get messy. And then the last piece of macaroni, you just wanna put up along the edge to make it look like the outside of his mouth here. And it looks kind of weird now, but your glue will dry clear and it will make it look like a mouth, as you can see in our sample fish. Okay, so now comes time for the scales. And you're going to want to glue your special shiny scale on first so that you don't forget to put it on. And then you can just put all your other scales on around it. And you can put your shiny scale anywhere you want on your rainbow fish. I'm just gonna put mine here kind of by his eye. 
And then you want to get your cereal out. And you're going to need a lot of it. So lots and lots and lots of a rainbow colored circular cereal is great. It doesn't have to be name brand, any kind of circular cereal you want to use. And preferably though, one with lots of different colors in it because he is a rainbow fish. Now on my sample one, on the top half of the fish, I did a rainbow pattern, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, Roy G. Biv. And you'll see that I did that all the way down for the first top half of my fish. The bottom half of the fish, we just did a random pattern. I just started gluing on the, the, the cereal wherever I felt like it. And whatever your children want to do is perfect. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Um, in order to go ahead and glue your scales on, you just want to take your glue and you want to add a lot of it into an area. I would work in um, sections when you do this because otherwise your glue is going to dry before you have enough time to get all your cereal on and then your cereal will fall off. And it's very simple. You just start putting your cereal on. And in this case, we're just gonna do a random coloring here of the different cereal. If you want to be really, really artistic, you could take some broken pieces of cereal and try to get it to mimic the lines of the, of the um, scales here of his face. You can, um, I'll put a red one there. Or maybe we'll put a purple one there. That looks a little bit better. And then you just kind of move them around. Try to mix up the different colors that you put down to make it more colorful and bright and outstanding looking. Um, it's a good kind of uh, identification game. It's good eye-hand coordination and small finger movement for your kiddos to be doing. Um, you can practice your colors, your shapes, and all kinds of those other fun things. So then as you go ahead and put these little cereal bits on, um, I will tell you that your rainbow is going to take, your rainbow fish is gonna take um, a couple hours to completely dry. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it sits on a flat surface while it does so. And then make sure, again, like I said, your kiddos are not eating the cereal with glue on it. That is not good. It may look like milk, but it's not. Don't eat it. It'll make you sick. And if you see that you don't have enough glue in a section, just add a little bit more, because otherwise it'll be glued it on later. And we'll finish up this here to give you an idea as to what they would look like. And then the other thing I was going to tell you is that when you get this all on and you're done with each section, go ahead and um, with your hands, you're going to want to press down really, 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 really hard on the cereal, just like that. And then carefully lift off and then press down again. You don't want to crush the cereal. You don't want to push so hard that you're crushing it. But you just really want to get that good adhesive bond between the glue and the cereal. And then, like I said, let it dry really well. And then when you're coming around your, um, your scale again, same thing. You just want to put a little bit of glue around it and um, try to get your cereal to fit around it as best as you can because um, you want to kind of highlight that, that your rainbow fish has a really pretty and a really cool scale but just like all the other fish now in the sea too and that's how you would cover that up and so um, just continue coloring. you can do the tail if you want I chose not to put scales on my tail because we had the little tissue paper colors on it um, I will tell you this is also a very heavy fish so if you're going to hang it on your fridge, I also recommend that you get a larger piece of cardstock to glue it on so that um, it's not pulled by the weight of this alone. And your fins certainly will not be able to support it because they're just tissue paper. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed our rainbow fish today and have fun making it and eating all the yummy cereal. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.